That accident happened right here near the Metra, where the impaired driver jumped this median, colliding head on with Chad and Kimberlyn. We didn't even see it coming. For Kimberlyn Eldridge and Chad Teal, life changed in an instant. You don't realize how fast things happen. On April 20th, the Billings couple was returning to their home in the Heights from a date night downtown when they were struck head on by a drunk driver. I just looked over and I saw the headlights and I went to say something and by the time it was already the commotion, things flying. After the collision, Kimberlyn and Chad watched his cars drove past and thoughts raced through their minds. I got a four-year-old at home. Got a fiance, don't know what's going on. Got family, just want to make it home. Eventually, an off duty nurse and her husband stopped to assist. It was just like, oh my goodness, like you, thank you. Like, I, I, we didn't know if we were going to survive, and you actually took time to stop. The Good Samaritans called 911 and Kimberlyn's mom, who was watching their four year old son, Bryson. <laughs> the couple ended up at Billings Clinic with a long list of injuries. They thought I broke my legs. My knees were all bruised up and swollen. He was evaluated, broken ribs, you know, whiplash, concussion. I'm still got a headache, you know? Yeah. Still feeling it all. It was there that doctors made an exciting discovery. I went to do a CAT scan. We did a urine test, and that's when we found out I was pregnant. The family of three will soon become a family of four. Exciting, but nerve-wracking. While they look forward to welcoming another child, they're worried about finances, as Kimberlyn and Chad are both currently off of work due to their injuries. My bosses have been accommodating. I'm just thankful to work for the Learning Grove. I want to thank CarQuest, yeah. My boss has been really understanding about it. A GoFundMe has been set up to assist. A simple drunk driver is what caused all of this. Even if you can't donate, I mean, we appreciate support. We appreciate anything and everyone that has donated, that has shared, and tried to just bring awareness to it. The couple is now focusing on recovering while preparing for a new family member, but want to bring awareness to drinking and driving. One of us could have died. I mean, it's both of us. Could have. There's definitely consequences and there's definitely things that it takes a toll on everyone. It's stupid. Get an Uber, call a friend. I mean, it's simple at the end of the day. In Billings, Kelsey Boggs, MTN News.